R-V-B-N, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great en entertainment video blogs, great sports video blogs, plus a whole lot more. A collection of my work going back to June of 2014 is on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is 8.22 in the evening, about 44 degrees in Bellica, Massachusetts. Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Saturday, January 21st, 2017. It's a day that is, was good out with the weather. Mixing sun and clouds, highs in the mid-50s. You don't get too many 50-degree days in the heart of winter. Tomorrow is going to be in the 40s, and Monday into Tuesday, serious noise stuff. But we're marginally enough for rain on eastern Massachusetts, central Massachusetts. Could be some rain, rain and snow mixed in. You have to go into the mountains of Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont for significant snow. And it's supposed to be warm on Wednesday with 50. But next weekend, back to average, and February looks colder than average. Some news to report on the RBBN News. Why do, 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 do. The Portland Trail Blazers beat the Boston Celtics by the score of 127-123 in overtime. Second straight loss by the Celtics to a team that's not doing too good, but the Celtics hunting there. Just not on a little slide. But the They'll rebound. And next week is going to be Linda Church's final week on the air on WPRX Channel 11 in New York. She is retiring as the weekday meteorologist, which is good for her. Congratulations to Linda Church on her retirement. She's only in her mid 50s, but hey, if she could retire at that age, more power to her. And she has the best legs in New York City bar none. And that's about it on that. On the RVB and News Why Do 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 Be back in a flash with my third and final video blog in the night. Pump it up, 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 pump it up. Get your exercise in. Walk, run, swim, jog, do push-ups, do pull-ups, do anything. At least half hour each day to get your heart pumping and flowing. Get your exercise in. It does a body good. Time now is 8.25. Good evening. I'm back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about Xfinity On Demand from Comcast. <laughs> Xfinity On Demand is a service for your com um, for your Comcast thing if you have Comcast cable. Back when on Xfinity On Demand, it started around the fall of 2003. And at first, it just, um, On Demand was just the premium channels, movies, and specials, plus some um, On Demand only content um, that was just from Adam On Demand, which was Claymation, and they had Gambling On Demand, and they had a few other stuff on demand, like classic cartoons, and children's series, and a few other cable networks, but they just had limited content, and you could watch the stuff every, um, any moment. If you missed the episodes or the movies during the times that it was on, you could have caught 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 it it was on 001 and once on demand got popular they started adding more content to a lot of other cable networks 
including the t most popular ones. They had sports ones. They, for a couple of years, they had like NHL highlights. Eventually, they added Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NBC Sports to the lineup. And also, for years, they had about a 30 minute show interview show that was hosted by E personalities and they would preview what was on demand that particular week and it would count down the top five on demand movies of the week. Eventually it was all five on demand programs of the week. And more and more people were watching on demand. They could watch like something from HBO or Showtime anytime they could pause it or rewind it and anything they ordered they would t watch for 24 hours plus they could have like paid per view movies and and wrestling on demand you would have to pay a fee for it and you own it for 24 hours by the late 2000s more and more stuff were coming on demand. They even had Streamplex on demand, which was like movies from the NBC Universal Library. And also the networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, Fox, CW, PBS started having stuff on demand. But most of them with the networks, you couldn't fast forward it or rewind it because the commercial so you had to watch it all straight through and on-demand stuff is updated almost on a daily basis because I, I remember when they first started it was only updated on a weekly basis so every Tuesday for the first few years they would get new stuff after a while they would remove some content so they would always keep the content fresh after so while they didn't want to have stuff on demand for weeks on end but now sometimes they do have stuff for weeks on end and they have added some classic television shows to Xfinity on demand which is pretty good so you can watch seasons after season of, of your classic favorite television shows and Xfinity On Demand is awesome in my humble opinion. I catch a lot of shows watching Xfinity On Demand and it's pretty quick, pretty cool. I can watch them anytime I want. And that's about it on Xfinity On Demand from Comcast. And I'll be back tomorrow Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus but with only two video blogs. First video blog will be the last personality profile of June. It will be about former professional wrestler Tom Zink, aka the Z-Man, and the second and final video below the night will be about Golden Tea Golf. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rose Blather, WCCO Rocks and Nice Likes. Elizabeth Hutt, so, so stunning. She's the best. Amy Squeezy's awesome. Awesome Amy. Bobby Gibbs of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. Best likes in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Ren Claire of WHDH Channel 7 Boston is such a sweet artist. She's got the best legs in Boston. And in the words, Sean, would you get out by now?